What's going on YouTube? We're back at it for another gun build video and today we're going to be talking about the Volkstrom Guve. Volkstrom Guve. Guve. I think that's how you say it. Not proficient in German language, but we'll do the best we can. Pretty sure it's German. Could be something else. Who knows? Didn't do much research on that beforehand, but this is one deadly weapon. Guaranteed and after this recent patch where we've had the bloom reduced at a certain closer ranges, there's still a bit of uh, horizontal recoil when it comes to a lot of these weapons that happens later in the, or further at range, but they've tightened it up a bit. A lot more of the uh, weapons have become a whole lot more accurate, and I hate Bloom, but more than likely this is something we're going to have to deal with, but luckily they've grouped it in a bit, made it a bit more uh, hmm, fair, I suppose. Still isn't exactly the fairest, but we've got attachments to kind of help mitigate those issues and bring it in line and create something of a laser. Now the Volkstrom's Volkstrom Guva is not exactly the most accurate, but after this patch it has become even more accurate. In the beginning it will be a bit hard to control when leveling this weapon, but by the end of it, ooh, it's accurate enough, got the damage, you're going to be laying people out, even got a V2 rocket with this one. But we've got some banger gay play coming up and let's get straight into the attachments. Now immediately, when I was uh, leveling this weapon, G2, uh, G2 Wade Compensator. Definitely want that recoil control. This does have a good kick up, as well as a little bit of that horizontal accuracy. But later on, you're going to want to go with that recoil booster. We do want to increase the rate of fire on this by quite a bit. Not exactly too much, but enough to uh, amplify our DPS laying down and not cut down on our accuracy all that much. Or so much that it wouldn't be able to control it now. When it comes to the barrel, the cry, you know what, 428 millimeter, 05E, this is all we're going to need. It's going to bring our vertical recoil and horizontal recoil down just enough in line, as well as giving us some more effective damage range. In the beginning, you will notice that this doesn't exactly have the uh, long range capability that other ARs do. You can increase this later on, I suppose. Ah, it's not with the barrel. With the magazines, we'll be able to further increase this effective damage range, give it more of a long-range viability, something I see going forward and do uh, Warzone Pacific integration quite well. Now, Optic, all up to you since I've been running shipment a lot, been using a lot of close-range things, a lot of things that just don't cut down on ADS, went with the Slate Reflector, perfect for me. Inside of those close-in quarters, you could go with the G16 later on for a bit more recoil and accuracy control. But you'll be cutting down on the ADS, but I imagine it will help with some of those long-range fights, grouping it together, keeping it in tighter, making it more of a laser. But it's all up to your personal preference. Now, when it comes to the stock, never ended up trying any of the other stocks. Honestly, the SA converter, big thing about this gun, it has strong mobility, good movement speed in general, even if just walking, strafing, feels good. I loved this gun when it came down to being able to push in, get that quick ADS, drop people, move constantly strafing around people's shots, getting in around them, just laying people out. But we're getting that sprint to fire and that movement speed. If you wanted to go for more of a hip fire accuracy, you could try and do that. Could be something that could be viable for Vanguard itself, but I don't imagine going in Warzone Pacific, that's going to be something that this weapon will be strongly suited for. But who knows? We'll see in the coming future. But later on, if it felt like there was too much recoil, the uh, S12 VPS, definitely going to be all the recoil control you'll definitely need. This will group it in tighter, give you three to the recoil and accuracy control, as well as giving that flinch resistance. Flinch is big, or it's not the hugest issue, issue with this weapon, but more than a few times I have been popped off my target due to flinch from this weapon. Now, when it comes to proficiency early on, I mean, if you're still feeling like still a little bit out of your control range when it comes to the recoil control perfectionist could be something you could use but you are going to take that negative two to flinch resistance we have something else that will help mitigate that but that's something to look into but for me i wanted that sleight of hand we have a bigger magazine with this it's a bit slower so i wanted that to kind of be quickened up have that fast and ready and just getting back into the action faster you could arguably go with pressure early on or steady just for that more movement but that's in the beginning when leveling this weapon. I haven't even changed this. Now when it comes to the kit, obviously surplus when leveling this weapon for that additional kill XP, but fully loaded is what I'd want to go for with this weapon. 
got plenty of ammo. We need more of it. A lot of times you're moving so quick, you're pushing up against close range with enemies, even taking people at uh, longer ranges, not always having that ability to just drop a field upgrade of ammunition, just have everything stocked and ready as soon as you spawn in. Perfect for it. And when it comes to the grip, I went with the polymer grip. We're getting that flinch resistance and, or yeah. And we're also getting that accuracy and recoil during sustained fire, giving it more of that laser pinpoint as we're firing longer, especially with a bigger magazine. This is going to help us with those moments when we're just laying down fire, multiple enemies in front of us, and we're staying on target as best as we can when it comes to the recoil control. Now, early on, rubber grip is going to work perfectly fine. You may even... For a time, I was using fabric grip, just adding to that ADS speed and that sprint to fire, especially if you're running on shipment. This can be a big help. You could arguably use this instead of polymer grip. Maybe be able to have that mobility stronger, ADS, just get on target a lot quicker, be able to kill a lot more people with that kind of build out. But you are going to take that hit to accuracy. But if you're feeling like, again, you need more of that accuracy and recoil control, polymer grip is going to be the go-to. And when it comes to the magazine, I'm kind of at a crossroads with this. There's two different magazines that I highly suggest. Now, when leveling this, the Gorinko 30 round mag, this is the magazine I got the V2 with. It works fine. The fire rate is extremely nice, and you get that additional ADS and movement speed. But this is something I can't see going forward into Warzone Pacific actually being that viable since it's only 30 rounds. Maybe something you could use inside of solos or duos. When it comes to trios or quads, you're going to need that amplified ammunition, especially for something you're going for a long range type of build with. Now the eight millimeter curves, 60 round drum mag, you'll notice we're already at 28 damage. We're doing pretty good with this. We're not taking too much of a negative on this. Just a little bit of that reload quickness and that movement speed and little ADS speed, but it's not too much. That's going to destroy our ADS altogether, but we're going to have 60 rounds. And that's a huge thing about this, but the Russian short 45 round bumps it up over 10 points of damage we're up to 39 we got that effective damage range getting pushed out bullet velocity now we may be taking some negatives across the board a little bit of vertical recoil control honestly i didn't feel it but i could feel the damage but it just wasn't high enough for vanguard itself for me to feel that i had to absolutely use it i'd arguably go with the 60 round you're going to do better with more ammunition even though this may seem like it's going to have a faster ttk in my personal opinion, I could notice it here and there, but it wasn't always there. So I felt I felt I needed that additional 15 rounds more than I needed the added damage from this. So it's up to you which one you prefer. Arguably, when it comes to Warzone Pacific, I feel like it's also going to be a toss-up. The additional damage seems great. It is still 45 rounds. That could be something that's extremely viable, especially when it comes to effective damage range and that bullet velocity. This could be something that becomes meta over the 60 round, but the 60 round can't hurt to always have that additional 15 rounds. But when it comes to that added damage, especially in Warzone, that's something to look out for. Now, ammo type ended up using the hollow point, especially when I was uh, running through on uh, shipment. You got those moments you just quickly moving to target to target, people spawning all around you. Sometimes you're not always exactly pinpoint going for that chest or headshots going to hit those limbs from time to time so this just helped out with that could arguably go with incendiary especially since if you're running on shipment kind of short range you're not going for long range shots so that damage range bullet velocity isn't going to be hurt too much and that just means you're going to have added damage to every bullet you're shooting out not sure exactly what warzone integration process going forward is going to be needed you may need bullet velocity with this since it doesn't exactly have the maxed out damage range this could help with that it's something that should transfer to increase your damage range as well when it comes to Warzone Pacific, but it doesn't inside of uh, Vanguard right now. But that's something to look for in the future coming. When it comes to the underbarrel, I just went with Carver Foregrip. I just wanted that recoil control. Like I said before, the recoil vertical is going to be a bit higher, always be a bit higher. There'll be a bit of the horizontal, but not so much that you actually need to go for accuracy uh, on each of these attachments. But that recoil control and that hip fire. Hip fire is quite nice with this weapon. And the way we've got it stacked out right now, you can utilize it here and there. Now we are taking a cut to uh, ADS. You could supplement this for the M3 ready grip. I tried this a bit early on, more specifically when I was combined with that other additional grip. The other grip that had the ADS and sprint to fire. And this does increase your recoil control a bit. So you could move down. 
possibly go for something like the M1930 Strife. I feel like that was too much horizontal. Or one that kind of hits both ways is the recoil control and accuracy. But considering the recoil vertical is going to be a bit more, I went for the plus two to that recoil control. Considering this will, it'll give you essentially half of what you're looking for with a bit more to the accuracy side of it for that horizontal bounce. That's going to be the weapon, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Let me know down in the comments below. I'm thinking about doing a video of top five weapons you need to level before we go into the or the Warzone Pacific integration. If you want to see that, let me know down in the comments below. If there's other weapons you want to see different builds for, let me know down in the comments. What's your favorite weapon so far? What, what do you think is going to be that viable weapon going forward into the Warzone Pacific integration? What's the top three of your meta weapons or loadouts possibly that you're going to be using as soon as you drop in. I want to know some of these things. See how you guys are, uh, or what you guys are thinking before we jump in. But on that note, we'll get straight into the gameplay. Hope you enjoyed this, and have a good one. Yeah, it's 69 420. What are you talking about? It's always been that way. You act like you don't know things, Moon. Welcome to the simulation. Where the fuck did I just get shot from? No way this dude just shot through fucking two containers and killed me. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of wall bangable shit on you. You got penetration for it. He shot me through two containers, bro. That's more than fucking penetration. He has bullets from God. It's not one of the fucking blow-up containers in the middle. He shot me through literally two containers. God damn it. Slid. I just got spawn killed. And I just got spawn killed again. And I got spawn killed again. Three times. Yeah, it's just no ads. It's all premium is. I think you get free movies or some shit. Yeah, know. uh... Uh, the, can't you... You could play... You could uh, also play the videos while you're, like, on lock screen or whatever. It'll continue to play. Wait, they did that? I thought you could always Say that again? That. No, no, like, they, if you actually lock your phone, it. it'll still... Yeah, it'll still play the video. I just got ran over, and so did that guy next to me. Jesus fucking Christ. I need to start using that. Yeah, 
Maybe that's the poor man's version. Ad blocker. Moon, you don't have money. You don't have premium. I don't have YouTube. YouTube premium. No. <laughs> I just deal with ads. You have an ad blocker? Why the fuck do you have an ad blocker, bro? Oh, I've got one. No, I don't want ads. <laughs> the amount of <laughs> sites that tell me I can't look at them. I'm like, well, you've lost a customer. Jesus Christ. Bro, I don't understand Still, how they fucked up this map so fucking bad. Like, I can't stand there and camp a spawn on shipment. Like, it's fucking shipment, bro. Should be running around and fucking battling people. Gun battling. These They're just fucking spawning right in front of me. And they have the drop every time. It's like, they spawn in spots where I'm not looking. Gee, this fucking thing's gonna run me over again, bro. Fuck you! On me in like five minutes. I'm gonna shut the fuck up. <laughs> Hold on, where are they? They're just fucking camping. I don't. They don't run around. They just stay in one fucking. There's a guy to your right. Stay in one fucking spot like pussies. <laughs> oh, they finally spotted me. Yeah, that's the spot right there. Put him. Yeah, just just lock him in there. Hold on. Let me uh, clean him up over here. Spot. I don't even want. I I honestly don't even want to stand here. This is so dumb. They just spawned right in front. It's so stupid. They keep hitting them. They're yep. right, spawning right in front of me. I'm about to get the flame knot. Yeah, get it. Hey, this is the play. I need one more kill. I need one more kill. Don't worry. They're not spawning over here. I got it. I got it. I got it. I we got, got it. them trapped right now. They killed me. You got a flame knot too? I'm yeah. Standing. Yeah, I'm just... I'm locking them in over there. They're stuck in that corner. They can't I, spawn I put, over I here put now. A, I put a... Yeah, I put a mortar strike on them. Oh, yeah. They're fucked right now. Yeah, they're just easy picking. They spawn, they spawn behind us. They spawn behind us. When you're done with the flame knot, let me know. I'll call mine in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They spawned they spawn, uh, a different side. It's so dumb, bro. Tell me your flame knot. Oh, good. Wow, they actually killed me really fast. Of course, I'm not surprised. I'm not fucking surprised at all. I surprised one oh. bit. <clears throat> Baker. 
idea. They switched it. This guy ran outside the map and ran back in just to kill me. Fucking flattered. That one kill means everything to him. This guy did not just one hit melee me. Why can't I throw my fucking artillery strike, bro? Somebody else throwing one? This this is so fucking stupid, it's not letting me throw it. Ah, uh, is that bug still in? Fucking annoying. <laughs> 